I am fucking horny as hell. <laughs> Ma, get dad's dick in here. I'm a horny boy. Are we live? We're going. Wow, so your accountant's crazy? <laughs> so my accountant's crazy. <laughs> Do you tell this? I don't know. I mean, is this going to roll out on YouTube? It's yeah. It's huge. Anyway, Bill, so I, my accountant today um, asked me to subscribe to his podcast four times and then was like, uh, kind of kind of was like getting into it being like, well, you know, I got these TikTok and trying to get subscribers and then asked to be on my podcast. And I went, Wow. And like, gee, that my wife is watching and being like, we have, we're a month behind on our taxes. Our <laughs> life is in jeopardy. And he keeps saying, I can do this, but there's a fee. But you can talk about this on your podcast. And I was like, that's I insane. I'm, he's holding me hostage. This is like he's holding show. my taxes hostage. Maybe it'd be a funny TV show pitch where you're a guy who's in show business and you, you know, you're trying to distance yourself. You have a family, so you can have your separate lives. And then everybody you encounter, just want, has their own podcast. <laughs> your accountant, your dentist, whoever else you see. And they're all doing better than my podcast. Well, so many doctors have podcasts now, you know? Like, really? I feel like Twitter doctors, they're all like, like, oh, listen to this podcast with this doctor. That's how everybody knows about medicine. my rash. What rash? I feel like I wouldn't want my doctor to have a podcast. My doctor yeah. has a podcast. I don't want anyone to have a podcast. What rash? I don't know, the joke would be that my doctor has a podcast and he's talking about my rash on his podcast. Can we push in close on Steve's bum? <laughs> Just kidding. I'll do it a bit. Hey, Steve. 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 I was trying to preset a bit with you that you didn't even know about. I was telling this before you got here. But I was like, if Isabel's there, I just can't be there when she's there. I was going to do this whole thing that you need to do. <laughs> I, wrote, I immediately wrote there's no way that's true because I, I, I believe in you. But there was a moment that I was like, that would be fucking nah, that can't be true. It was gonna bum me out. Well, I, my thought was like, I would text Isabel and be like, hey, do you have a beef with Greg? Greg's on the show. And then I figured you're further away, so you would cancel. Right, right. I know that. That doesn't mean I love him more than I love you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you in the fuck! Yeah, no, I'm definitely no, higher up. Than well, me? Like, yeah. That's because you like his wife. <laughs> so you're not like that, really. Yeah, also, that kind of like those people. Also, that is. Do you like people more because they look like your wife? Yeah, because I hate most people that look like your wife. That's right. <laughs> they, can't, they can't drive. They got tiny dicks. Is that no good? You're making a face. That's funny. That's racist against my people. I know. That's my funny. son is Asian. I know. That's so weird because now you're like so connected to Asians. If you're married to an Asian, it's like whatever. I were at home. Now you have an Asian son. What is that? Oh, you know, it, it's the food I didn't get to eat. What kind of oh. food? What kind of food? Chopped cheese. Chopped cheese? I just, cheese? Start, I just chopped my chopped cheese. cheese. I don't know chopped cheese. It's uh, it's basically oh, if a burger and a Philly cheesesteak had sex. Oh, just come in it? <laughs> Put that in. It's <laughs> sick. Oh, was that crazy cat lady over today? She came over and Caitlin let her in. There's a psychopath what? in our home. Why she didn't we... come in our uh, apartment, but she came into the building. The hallway? And Sarah got the key from under the mat. So she knows where your key is. I get out of the lift, and this lady is like leaning on the our trash barrels, like talking to the cat through the window. And she's like, you Steve? And I was like, no. And she's like, oh, well, well, their cat got out. I saved it. She just declared, I saved it. And she's like, I was talking to Susan. She lives in the back. And it's like, that's Sarah, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's Susan. And I was like, okay, great. Yeah, I heard about that. And she's like, I told them I have their number. I called them. Tell me to call them. And I go, okay, great, whatever. So then Sarah and I talk about how kooky she is. Then, like, four hours later, I'm leaving the house. The lady is still standing there. And she's like, hey, Steve. And I was like, no, no, I'm not Steve. I'm the other guy. I'm Susan Sutton. <laughs> Well, I don't know, did she know we're comedians? I'm sure she will. So she was in your house. She's probably rifling through your to-do list and fucking headshot file. It was, that's why when I opened my uh, book, it said, this needs work. Uh, but <laughs> That was me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go all in on this. You gotta like be so much of a friend to just see 
Like, don't wait years to see how long, like, give her it to all right now, see how she reacts. She'll either be your best friend, or she'll try to kill you, but you'll know in the next week. You yeah. texted her? Well, she's been typing in. Oh, boy. The ratio is still heavy over here. Yeah, but now she's, each text you send back, that allows I her get to like eight more texts. Yeah. You got to message her tomorrow to go. What are you doing? You want to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner? <laughs> <laughs> See how she goes. Like, you know, she'll do it, and then she'll go. Well, you guys are weird. You know, she's uh, out. Yeah, this is spooky. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I didn't. Where'd it go? The cat told me to tell you. So great me. Well, she's one of these people that talks to cats from outside the window. She'd be like, yeah. "Oh, that's so nice." Yeah, let's go. Let's Steve go. Rogers is first. Let's do it. And Sarah's at the back, so we're all alive. Baby. You think Sarah's just being late because you want to go first? She's just in the bushes. <laughs> so we hear, that's not how it happened. <laughs> that's weird. That woman is weird. Yeah, it's no good. She texts me a lot. It's okay. You know, imagine jump out this window. Oh, yeah, you gotta jump out the window. <laughs> Pull that clap in the sun. Whoa, put that in. Clap in the sun. They like that kind of edge lord shit. Yeah, he's got a nice deep voice. <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh, my Yeah. I found a weird sauce, but there's like a booger right here. Oh, I think that might be a booger. That's the only thing like this. I'm trying to find anything like that. I think someone put a booger right there and I'm touching it. And that's upsetting. All right. Remember that time we watched yes. Brokeback Mountain? On oh, the yeah. Classic. Classic. Sitting closer than Isabel and I are yeah. in Tampa. We were in Side Splitters Tampa at the condo. And it's a much better condo now. And uh, we, I wanted to watch Brokeback Mountain. Greg had never seen it. And so I had it on my laptop. And I was like, well, let's watch it. But we had to watch it with like our legs touching it. <laughs> and like, Greg actually thought that it was. I also got a little high. Yeah. And so part of me was like, is this his way? Of letting me know, like that's okay. I still have consent. I can still uh, say no, but I wish he would just say it. Was there also part of you like maybe? Yeah, if, if, if I was in a relationship, if I was in a relationship, I would try. If you were single, you would. Probably yeah. Yeah. I think like this. I see this in my act. Like I go to eat when I'm the steam room all the time, and it's like a place where gay men go to have sex. And I'm like, I feel like enough steam. I'd be like, yeah. What a dick in my mouth. No, I can't, can't see. Like that. Well, you can't see too well. It's very hot. Speaking of it, I don't want to get into controversial sure. topics here. I walked into my gym today, the locker room, the men's locker room, and there was someone who must identify as a man, but like ponytail and a scrunchie, tits, half shirt, booty shorts, shaved legs. Penis. Well, they had shorts on. So I don't know. You gotta look. But you gotta go, hey, penis? <laughs> penis? I walked in and I thought I was in the wrong locker room. It was like, it made me like, ah. What That's if they were just in the wrong room? What if they just like got What if they were just a woman who was just like, oh, fuck, I just gotta play this off now. Ah, oh, this is what I identify as. That's hilarious. I did a whole riff, I just remembered. Maybe it's, I think it's gonna be a reel, but maybe it could be a bit about how when I, um, when I cheat on my wife, I put my wedding ring in my asshole. <laughs> and then um, the crowd reacted, and I was like, I think it's obvious that I don't cheat on my wife, but I don't think it's obvious that I don't put a rest on my It hit really hard. That's is that a funny bit? Yeah, it's funny. People get like weird because I don't wear my ring a lot. But it's like, I do 40 minutes on stage about how much I love my life. That's, that's how I feel. Though. Yeah. That's the ring. That's how I feel. You're like, I'm outwardly telling everybody. It's not like you're going to not wear a ring, talk about being married, and then a woman is like, oh, you don't have a ring on. Right. That whole, it was all, you made the whole thing up. But people do think that. That way, they just ask this weekend if he's married. Does he have a wedding ring on? Women must know that I'm engaged because they don't approach me ever. Not people that love their wives. Uh, uh, well, well, yeah, you have a ring. Let me see the ring. Can we talk about this? In the, the sure. Let me see. Yeah, it's two interlocking rings. Yeah. And they can kind of drift apart sometimes, which I think is like symbolic, yeah. you know? And then yeah. you can push it back together. What else do you want? <laughs> yeah. Um, that's gay. Uh, the best ring joke ever, Nick Griffin told me, I forget the comic's name, he said, someone said, how do you keep your wedding ring so shiny? He goes, oh, right before I leave the house, I put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's great. I have a wife. Do you, you find, like, how long have you guys been together? 11 years. My wife and I have been together 11 years. How about that? Married, we're married six. 
Five and a half. Yeah, similar. Nice. <laughs> Do you find this? The longer you're with someone, don't you find like your partner's still attractive to you? But like the longer you're with them, people that look different become more attractive. Do you guys have that? Like my wife's like a petite woman. So like sometimes I'm like, maybe I want to have sex with a big fat woman or a small boy. You know what I mean? Like just. I did a Billy Corgan in the car the other day. And everyone was like, that was amazing. Impossible, it's possible tonight, tonight. I think those pieces are good in there. It wasn't, it was one of those ones I nailed once. Every once in a while I can do a good honk too. That's good. That was one of the good ones. Yeah. We got that? That's good. It's impossible, it's possible tonight, tonight. That looks decent. It's fun. I don't know. That's a great Jetsons plan. I always want to do Chewbacca. I can't do it. <laughs> what, what impressions can you do besides the ones? Do you have a good one? I do a decent Tim Roth as Mr. Orange in Reservoir Dogs. <clears throat> Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm fucking dying here! I'm fucking dying! I've never seen it. If we could put it next to that, can we plug it? I don't know if we have the rights to that. Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm fucking dying here! I'm fucking dying! I like that I said, I don't know if we have the rights. We, it's the Reservoir Dogs. We might have the rights to Reservoir Dogs. like, actually, I got the rights to Reservoir Dogs. Do you think the darkness is your ally? I was raised in the darkness. And of... Tonight, tonight. Tonight, I bond. Oh, I bomb, I bomb so hard. We gotta use that. That's nice. Isn't it weird to like play? You have to be a certain kind of person to play guitar really earnestly. Like if I was just sitting here, like people have musicians hang out with their buddies and they're like, can I play you a little something? Yeah. You're the love of my flower. The flower is love, the flower is love, if you put it in the bud. And then you have to like be like, oh, nice, nice dude. Yeah. Like, is this emotional? And we're like, is this funny? It's like, is this emotional? Is this Isn't make that you fucking cry? weird? Yeah. That's weird to think about. Is this a hook? Yeah. Like, She's a white girl with beef curtain. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as I got. Can I do mine? What I do for my son? We'll be, we'll be, uh, I have multiple songs for changing diapers. One is, change, change, change. Oh, I like that. Change your poop. And like, change his poop. Like change, that. change. Change his poop makes it sound like you put different poop. <laughs> and then <laughs> show it in. Yeah, like you take your shit and put it in them. I wish that I knew what I know now when I was younger. Ooh la la, that's what the crowd said when I was done. This feels like um, you just wanted me to know I didn't sell the show out by leaving these three open. It felt like you guys were like, let's, you know, he can't sell out a room that holds 30 people. Let's just really make it clear. And I appreciate that, you know? Like you could have spread out three chairs, but you are like, no, let's do front and center. This is fun, no one here is kind of fun, because I can kind of be like, mother, tell your children not to come my way. Yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. This feels diverse. It's usually not this diverse, so I, that's good. I feel like we're... Last time it was 29 white men, so this is... We're growing. I feel like they were going to shut the club down. They're like, you can't. This is just a meeting, and it's weird, so... Diversified a little bit. I appreciate you guys. Do you guys have bidets? You got a bidet? Oh, everyone's got it now. Not everyone, but... I feel like Europe was like, they were doing it before. You guys have a bidet? We're, we should get one. You should get one. I like that you guys conferred. You're like, we actually don't, do we have one? <laughs> it's almost like a game show. Like you guys are a team and you're like, hmm, let's think about this. What are we doing? We're gonna go with no, we do not. We don't have a bidet. Get a bidet, yeah. I don't have a bidet. I'm gonna get one though because I had a, like a, an injury that happened from trying to wash my, because this is the way I do it. Do you guys do it like this? 
I just do it in the shower, prison style. That's how I wash my ass. I kind of, I turn my back. You guys do it like that? You got the water? You look disgusted, I'm sorry. Well, either you have a bidet or you do this, right? There's no other, or you have a dirty asshole. Those are the only three options. Maybe a garden hose, I guess, or something. But anyways, I was doing this. And then I just kind of lost my balance and fell forward, and I couldn't get my hands up. And I, I live in New York, so it's like a small bat. So I just fucking cracked my head. I was trying to wash my butt, smash my forehead into the wall. And that's when I was like, I think I need a bidet because I have a concussion from trying to wash my butt hole. You ever a friend who's like so addicted to his phone, he gets distracted, his own stories get interrupted by his phone. Like we're all addicted to our phones, of course. But he'll be like this, yeah, man, I was with this girl the other night. It was so crazy. We were having sex, and then, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> and he's like this, what were you saying? <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't saying anything. You were talking. I was thinking this story's made up and boring, but I wasn't saying anything. I'm like, you can't even focus on your own stupid story. <laughs> All right, that, that works better than it normally does. Yeah. People get horny when they're pregnant. Have you guys ever been uh, horny, pregnant? That seems cool, that's a big commitment, just to get a woman horny, you know? You don't wanna be like, I gotta take my son to practice, and you're like, I didn't know you had a kid. Yeah, well, I wanted to get my wife horny for a few months, 10 years ago. We really committed to this three months of horniness. I know a pregnancy is longer than three months. I just assume they're only horny for three of them. I didn't want you guys to be like, does he think a pregnancy's three months long? It is in my household, I'll tell you that. Hey, that's funny. Whoa, I just came up with that. Someone remind me of that. That was good. That was so funny, she raised the roof. I haven't seen a roof raised in 30 years. You dusted off the roof raise. Next joke, you're gonna be like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I feel like none of you are old enough to get that reference, but still, very funny. Yeah, Arsenio, you guys are, yeah. Oh boy, that was, uh, that was, that was all worth it. Lex, remind me of that hot dog of a joke I just came up with. I was talking to my uh, friend, she's a woman, and I was like, yeah, men are just obviously hornier. And then she was like, I don't think that's true. I think I'm just as horny as any man. And I was like, have you pretended you had to shit so you could go to the bathroom and masturbate? <laughs> because I have done that. And she was like, I actually have done that. And this is not fair of me, but I was like, that is disgusting. Um, <laughs> like, it's gross for me, but for, that, like, for her, I'm like, oh God, you are vile. Like, none of these are clips. I gotta do some crowd work to get some clips, right Lex? Where are you from, sir? Ireland? Wow, of all the people I could have picked, amazing. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Ah, oh, the Emerald Isle. How are you gonna fucking lie to you about school? What's that? You're a I'm a pirate, yeah. <laughs> An Irish pirate, a pirish. <laughs> Robert Pirish. <laughs> Folks, Robert Parrish was a basketball player back in the 80s. That was pretty clever. It's funny you say that, because every time I've ever tried to do an impression, it just turns into pirate. I'm like, yeah, he was from Israel. Guy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I went to South America. Those guys, those guys party. I was there like, oh, you fucking are, you are. har. What are you from, Galway, Dublin, Cork? Monaghan. What is it? Monaghan. Monaghan. Oh, Monaghan. Yeah. Ah. Nobody's ever heard of No, of course I have. Monaghan, yeah. <laughs> Old Monahan. <laughs> I've heard of it. Monahan to God. <laughs> I've been the Irish row for. <laughs> Did you know there's more Irish people here than there? Yeah, not probably. I'm telling you. I'm t <laughs> this is a fun fact. You ever do that? You ever give people fun facts and then they're like this? You were right about that. And I'm like, well, I wasn't right. I was telling you a thing. <laughs> That happened to me, I was talking about The Office, you know, uh, Creed, I was like, yeah, he was in the, the band, The Grassroots, and then uh, someone was like, hey, you were right. 
And I'm like, well, I wasn't just like coming up with a thing. I wasn't like, maybe this. I did it with my friend too. He was like, oh, he was like attracted to my friend who's a, a woman. I have another female. I have so many women friends. What a hero. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm really into her. And I was like, oh, she's gay. And then he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I know. And then like an hour later, he's like, dude, you were right. I can't, she's a lesbian. <laughs> I'm like, well, I wasn't right. I was just giving you information that I have. I'm not, I wasn't like, hmm. I'm thinking lesbian. <laughs> like, I was just like, that was information that I contained in my body and was giving to you. Maybe brain makes more sense than body, but my brain's part of my body. It's funny, I think I just did the same joke three different ways, but. Nice, you go back often? No. Why does everyone leave? No jobs? Snakes? <laughs> Uh, little St. Patrick's humor, folks. <laughs> uh, this is why I don't do crowd work. I suck. Um, anybody else from a different country? Argentina. Argentina. Oh, nice. I went to Peru. <laughs> and Ecuador. So I'm, I'm right. I'm all, I got you surrounded. I had a woman leave me for Argentina. Did you guys fuck her? Because I was really sad. She kept, she had sex with all these Argentinians. You guys were probably 13 though when that happened. So that'd be weird. Do you guys live here? No. Oh, you're just visiting? Yeah. How'd you end up here? Uh, we know you. We, we, we have fun you. Oh, wow. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. That's nice. You didn't fly here for this. We <laughs> fly to see comments. Oh, wow. Did you go to the cellar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every night at the cellar, and we saw that you were going to be here. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good, because that got you to Queens. Because most people don't come to Queens yeah. when they're visiting. So that's great. How long are you here for? Until <clears throat> Friday. Until Friday. Oh, wow. You got a lot more to do. Yeah. What else you got planned? This is just a hang. The show, there's no, <laughs> there's no jokes coming. I'm just kind of getting to know you guys. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to the Empire State. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is the Empire State. <laughs> you probably mean the building. <laughs> um, you're currently in the Empire State. But the building, yeah, you gotta go to the top? Yeah. That's where people like to go to the top, I notice. <laughs> it's cheaper to go to the bottom. You can kinda... No line. <laughs> well, congrats on the World Cup. Holy shit, yeah. Did you guys? fucking blow each other? That must have been amazing. There had to have been two million people there. Yeah, well, so two million plus three, yeah. There were two million people there and also three million other people. It's like a religion. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Now, do you have sex with small children and hide it from the other, cover it up? That's what we do with our religions here in America. We, we systematically abuse children and then we cover it up. That's our, that's our thing. Oh, and your thing, also. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you did. <laughs> Have you guys been to Peru? Yeah. Yeah, Machu Picchu? Uh, no, I went to the capital to make a show. Oh, to make a show? Are you in showbiz? Are you comics? Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Oh, now I feel like a dick. I'm like doing crowd work on comedians. I feel like an asshole. I did one time I went to uh, a Robin Williams show. My friend was like, let's go see. And I was a comedian. I've been doing comedy like 10 years. And my friend was like, Robin Williams is doing a show at the Comedy Connection in Boston. And th this is horrible. I'm going to really out Robin Williams. But I went, not, not as a gay person, actually. The opposite, not the opposite, but let me just tell the story. And uh, we went, and my friend was like, I got us tickets, but I was, a co I was like a working com comedian, and then he was like, bought tickets, and they just gave us like these two seats, front row, and I was like, I can't sit in the front row, I'm a fucking, I'm a comedian, I'm a professional comedian. And he's like, whatever, it's Robin Williams, he's a legend, and then the whole show, Robin Williams just kept being like, look at these two fucking homos over here, look at these two. <laughs> <laughs> he, kept, 
the whole show. And it was like, he kept calling back to him, like, yeah, the two queers. Up. And this was like, this is like 2008. So this is like, I don't want to make it sound like he's a horrible guy, because in 2008, it was like, that was like, that was comedy. You point to two men, you're like, I bet they're gay. I don't want you guys to leave being like, what a homophobic asshole. But if you do feel that way, that's fine. Because he's dead, and that's what he did. But anyways, I worked at the comedy club, so all the wait staff, and I knew everybody there, they're like, fucking queers, ah! It's just like, it's like, what is this? He's like, I bet you guys sucked each other off, you fucking homos. <laughs> that was his whole act. And uh, anyways, so I bet you guys fuck each other, huh? Um, uh, all right, I gotta wrap up. What are we doing here? This is going on too long. Let me see if I have anything else. Oh, this is new. Do you guys fucking hate Argentinian comedians? Are they? Are they just like shitty people? I, just, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> um, I gotta go. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys very much. Good to see you guys. Thanks a lot, everybody. Give it up for Rob.